We are at Wengenhausen, which is located on the central uplift of the crater. At this point, the impact depressed the Earth's crust. When the, when the asteroid impacted, it buried itself a kilometer or so into the target rock, exploded, depressing the Earth's crust, and then the Earth's crust immediately re rebounded. It came back up to the surface. And this granite that we see behind us is normally found at a depth of over a kilometer in the area. But it has been uplifted because of the formation of the crater, uplifted by at least a kilometer, maybe more. The rock that we see at the base of the outcrop is mostly made of granite. The granite has been shocked by the high pressure wave, uh, which transforms the mineral quartz into a high pressure phase called coesite. Now, when the pressure uh, wave travels through the quartz, we actually have a volume reduction. The mineral coesite is denser than quartz, and therefore the deformation of the granite is on the scale of individual min mineral grains. Above the uh, shocked basement rock, we have a unit, a thin unit of, of suavite, which is the breccia that had fallen back onto the raised rim, or the raised ring, and then Above that, we have a, a unit of freshwater limestone, which was deposited in the crater lake that formed uh, after the crater formed. The limestone contains freshwater gastropods and other fossils, um, which give us evidence of life coming back, returning back to the crater after conditions return to normal.